Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise, and welcome back to this item we find ourselves on. Last time, last time we were working on a pier, not that pier, which is the harbour itself. We were working on a pier on the other side of the island, way, way out beyond the treehouse itself. Beyond the, beyond the treehouse of love? No, the satellite of love. Actually, no, this does look like regular one. It's space station from Star Trek, but that's not what we're talking about. We build ourselves a summer house out on an outcropping of rock way beyond the shore, kind of hanging out over the ocean. And in order to connect it to the land, because you can't just build on rock, we build ourselves a pier. A folly even, because if you go to the starting island and then over to here, sometimes something nasty follows you back. And sometimes it's a little hard to see, especially if the sun is just kind of reflecting off the surface of the ocean. So what we do is we build a pier out and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. But, 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 it didn't look very good. So we grabbed a load of material from other islands and, and, and then we brought them back and we turned a folly into a cantilever pier, which is kind of good. We still have the world's Tiniest chair, da da da, tiny chair, the most useless chair as well. You couldn't even, that, not even a child could sit on that. Ooh, ooh game. Anyway, um, we have survived 240 days, water is low. We could drink from our flask or we could just go grab some water from the other side of the island. I think we'll do that. Uh, we do need to get breakfast as well. So we do need to do some survival things. I'm gonna jump over here and up onto the top of the aeroplane. Which is, I mean, if you're on PC, you can download this map. It is Hobbs Renown from from the video description. So that's kind of fun. Uh, yes, you don't need to build the house in order to get up here. You can just use one of the fallen trees to get up on the wing. And then once you're on the wing, well, what's the best way down? The best way down is, in fact, just to hop off the tailplane into a deep, dark pool of water. <laughs> I suppose we're going to have to do this, aren't we? Ooh, now we're here. Now we're here. All right, well, I, I guess open your peepers for this one. As we do, a hippity and a hoppity. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your whole self in, and you turn yourself about. You do the hokey pokey, you give a little shout. That's what it's all about. I mean, it is deep enough to have fish in it. There are little fish in there. Hmm, but it's weird. I don't know. I don't know why that keeps happening. Anyway, the lighthouse. I was asked. Ooh, I was asked. If we built another lighthouse on another island, would we, would we be able to see it? We would be able to see something. We'd be able to see the building. But we wouldn't be able to see the light because the lights wouldn't render when we are... In fact, oh, I do need to drink. I'm gonna die but I do need to explain this. So let's go up to the top of the lighthouse. I'm just gonna close these doors behind us. A little, little duck under there. And then we have to do a little awkward little jump. It's fine. And then the game's just like, do I need to unrender things or render things? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We have, we have a very powerful graphics card in here. But for some reason, the game still stutters and jerks and does the things. I think it's an effect of recording recording and playing the game at the same time. So on the roof we have a great white shark and we have lanterns because a physics object reflects light better than a building. A building doesn't reflect light beyond a certain distance. Physics objects like the great white shark because it has quite a long draw distance and we can see the one over on the great white bar and grill back at the house. Well that's got a longer draw distance and if you light it up like a Christmas tree you can see it from a lot further away. So if we were out at sea and it was dark we'd be able to see it, but only if we were in the influence of the island itself. If everything was rendered in or loaded in, would we be able to see it? If nothing was loaded in, we would see what we see on the opposite islands, which is a billboard, a two-dimensional representations of 3D objects. So that's what a billboard is in terms of the Unity graphics engine, and none of this would render, so you wouldn't see anything. Uh, but you'd see the outline of the building, so that's kind of fun. We're going to just hippity hop up here. Sploosh. I don't think there's anything down here. Not at 9 o'clock in the morning. 213, 239 days survived. I thought it was 240 days. Because when I loaded the game, it said, uh, 240 days survived. 239. Oh, it'll be 240 before too long. Anyway, let's see if we've got any water to drink. Yes, we do. 
That is that's good enough. Any fruit? Because we need, do need to check fruit. Fruity fruits. No, no. Oh, the plots down a little bit. And the potatoes are rotten. Once more, the potatoes are rotten. Ooh, I don't like it when my potatoes are all rotten. We can't eat them. That's the problem. I'm going to throw them on the beach and then go and look at... Go and look at the cantilever pier that we have built. So, you guys go here. Oh, wow. I forgot about those two. They're full cans of fuel. So, yes, the cantilever pier. Uh, we'll just look at it from the side for a moment. Because there's something I do want to do with this this session. So, we put a bunch of weight on the back of the pier, which means the overhanging bit, the bit at the front, kind of looks like it should be there. It's not looking like it's going to flop into the sea or that it's floating. Underneath, yeah, we used foundation pieces. So it does look like it's fully anchored to the ground. And from underneath, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look unusual or weird. But there is something, I mean, I did ask you guys at the end of the last session, I was like, well, oops, oopsie poopsie, inertia, slow down, no, momentum, momentum slow, open the door, and just, we just walk through, we can just leave these open, I guess. Yeah, it's this bit here, do we need this? I mean, technically it's okay, technically it's, it's fine, but it just doesn't, I think it just doesn't look that great when you're standing here. So what we're going to do is whip out the old axe. I'm going to whip out the old axe. And then I'm going to hit this a few times. Mm. This might take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Oh, he's going to be 30 hits. Okay. So I'm going to do it to there. Actually, can we stand on that? No, we cannot. Okay. That's a question that I wanted to ask. And answer. By myself. So we don't need to hit it that many times. It's going to have the round on it every time we look at it, which is unfortunate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think nine hits, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just breaking the edge because we're not likely to walk on this anyway. It's not a, it's not a fundamental part of the pier. And I'm just leaving the framework there because I live on the coast and the area of coast that I live on doesn't really have structures like this, which makes the whole story completely irrelevant. Uh, if I put that away, yeah, so we just have to deal with the round will be in there, but it now just looks like a skeletonized, uh, skeletonized outrigger. Um, that is fine there because that kind of looks like it's now balanced by that stuff there. Oh, uh, that's so much better. Yeah, visually it's so much better. Like, why would you want anything to be visual? Well, here's the thing, as we almost walk off into the sea, um, I want it to be visually pleasing because I gotta look at it, I gotta live with it. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. I, I like the skeletonized look and it's not completely broken down. The reason, so the reason everything has uh, so many hit points um, metal and plank structures take 30 hits to disassemble, whereas stick structures take, what, 15 hits to disassemble? So if we look at the stick structures here, so 30 and then, uh, yeah, 30 and then 15. It's because originally all of these parts were going to have durability. So all of this would have durability, and after a storm, you would have to go and take out your hammer and then fix everything. You'd have to go and whack it, give it a good old whack. You can see a problem with that once you've built all of the stuff on an island like this. So we have our cantilever pier. I do, yeah, I do like the, the fact that the apron on the other side is now skeletonized. That's good. We have a mansion up in the sky with a tower. We have our lighthouse. If we had to come and repair all of these panels after a storm, it would just be too much. It would be too much. Now, there's something we haven't done is leapt off the top of the house. Are we doing it? Are we going to leap off the top of the house? Ooh, I don't like deep water. All right, let's do it. Oh, there was less of a jump because we were moving downwards. 
So I couldn't actually physically jump even if I hit the hit the jump button, which I did. I hit the jump button and nothing happened. So we can come underneath the pier and then what we're going to do, I think what we're going to do now. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, it makes more sense. Much more sense. Good. So what we're going to do is get dinner on the go because I think we're hungry. Mm, yeah, I think we're hungry. So we'll grab some bits and pieces. We don't need to, do we need to refresh our axes at all? Not really, 84, 95, okay, we don't need to do that. We do need to grab a load of stuff. And then I think what we'll do is, hmm, now I was gonna go to the opposite island and then come back again. But I was gonna do that in the morning. What I think we could actually do, if we were clever about it, is not do that. We could take a raft over to the starting island, camp out on the starting island, and then come back first thing in the morning and see if anything follows us back. Ooh, that makes a lot more sense. Because if something follows us back tomorrow, we can give it a good old poke with our pokey sticks. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, excellent. So we need 12, 12 fibrous leaves in order to get our fire going. But I think we got a little bit of shark meat on one of the rafts, so we can probably use that instead. Excellent. Uh, one of twelve. Excellent. Good. So the fish traps gave us some cod. The fibrous leaves. If you put the fish traps fairly deep off the island, they'll catch cod. We don't have any bird traps. <laughs> and we do have another shark on the roof. Shark on the roof and our crap container. Because when we go places, we just pick up a load of crap and then just throw it in here. These things, I was going to say, these things, the, the pistols, they do have, well, I wonder if they do actually have any ammunition in them. Weird, weird, weird. All right. So because it's a custom island, you don't get naturally occurring sharks on custom islands unless you actually place them there. And even then, sometimes you'll place a shark on an island, it'll spawn once and then never spawn again. Or it'll just swim directly underneath the island itself, so it's just easier not to place them. But after the big world update, the work, the update that moved all the islands so they're all higgledy-piggledy and not in a grid. So you have, what, 46? 46. Oh, that's moving up and down. You have 46 islands, three boss tiles, and one aircraft carrier tile to give you 50. And they're all over the place. So, yes, uh, 1355. I'm going to deposit these upstairs because that's, that's where they belong. I'm not going to cook any dinner. I'm going to grab some meat off of the... Wait a second. Is this still full of nightmares? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, can't, I completely forgot that I hadn't done anything with that container. The other container has all of our stuff in it. Just, like, all of the stuff in boxes. And occasionally I'll just go through there and I'll just be like, you know what? You know what? I'll sort everything out in between episodes. Uh, what I'm going to do is put these down here. Nope. Yep. Fibrous leaf pile. Very important to make piles instead of just dropping stuff on the ground because a pile doesn't have any physics related to it. So it just, just doesn't uh, use any physics. Oh, I forgot about the aeroplane. It looks great. It does look great, um, but that's not what we're doing here today. What's in here? Hmm. Oh, the carbon, carbon spear gun. Hello. That's a new game plus item, including the uh, maglite style flashlight. That's a new game plus item as well. So if you complete the game, you get the carbon spear gun and you get the uh, you get the maglite instead of the big yellow torch. That's how you get those. It's not a mod. It is literally you start the game again and you get those orange top containers. You get two of them in your raft. Uh, water is down. There's no water here. I'll take some from the farm and then we'll we'll jet over to the starting island. Camp there overnight and then what we can do is come back and hopefully something follows us. And then we'll smash it in the face with an arrow because we haven't done that in a while. Mm, Alright. Yeah, it's tippity top. I'm not so worried about the farms. They do have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of water still in the farms themselves. I don't know if I don't know if you can still make stick farms. 
because originally they had half the water of a corrugated or plank farm. Okay, cool. So we have our fast raft and we have a slow raft and in reality both rafts are about the same. So you should have some meat on here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And a raw mat. Cool. So we'll take large smoked fish meat, which is shark meat. Tops us up. Okay, cool. We will go. We'll use the side sails to move us sideways. Turn that off. Allow the current to move us out. In fact, I think that might have given us enough. Oh, no, it did not. It did not. Okay, side sails. Up again. Yeah, those side sails do work. Whoops. Yeah, when you have a big enough raft, if you put sails facing sideways, you can then slide sideways. So we need to go over there. I'm giving her full right rudder. Full right rudder, Captain. Yeah, I'm giving her all the beans, all the sauce. That does look a lot better. I'm going to say the, uh, the the cantilever and the steps without the um, floor pieces underneath them. Yeah, much better. Much, much. I'm much happier with that. It elicits great joy. And we will keep it. If, does it, if it fills you with joy, you should keep it. Hmm, that's a dangerous sentiment. The house will be full of cats. Do cats fill you with joy? Um, yeah. You gotta house train them though. If they're peeing on everything, maybe not so much. Because cat pee is not great. And you need to get is something called urine off, which dissolves the crystals, urea crystals. Yeah. Now, well, you're learning. You learn something new every day. Yeah, you can't just mop it up. Oh, rocks. They will not be our friends. All right, so we'll come in hot. Drop the anchor. Lift that up. And then what we'll do is we put the anchor down on the other side. And then lift this one up. Because we'll be going back. There we go. We only need one anchor down. One anchor down. Actually, we don't even need... Oh, we don't even need a bedroll. I'll take a lantern. Boop. Okay. Uh, torch. I'm just looking for the purple poison, boys. Whoop. Nibbity hop. Because the pur purple poison boys, the purple starfish. I know there's one around here. So oh, there it is. Yeah, someone was saying, I think it was on Reddit or in forums. Oh, these guys move around. They don't. They're part of the scenery, like rocks and other rocks. Um, but sometimes when the game forgets where the coral and things should be underwater, it'll move everything around because it redraws all the underwater stuff. And then it looks like the starfish are moving around. They are not. They're just scenery, poisonous, terrible scenery. All right, so this is where we started off. We do have water here. Excellent. And we do have a shelter and we do have a couple of crafting stations. Tool stations. Call them what you will. Nobody really... Nobody's going to bother you. Um, we are going to grab a coconut, though, for the morning. And then we can do it one of two ways. We can either throw a spear at it. Normally that knocks it down. Or I guess we can just climb the tree by holding the spacebar, the jump button. Hmm. I'll grab you. And then I get smashed in the face by a coconut. Oh, excellent. Well, the sun is going down on what was a beautiful day in paradise. And it is a beautiful day in paradise. Let's go down. Let's go and see if I can find my coconut. Coconut. Why did you, why did you not fall? Was the arrow, arrow... Was the spear pinning it up in the tree? I, I fear it may have done that. Hmm. Curious. As the seagulls fly out to sea... You can take them out from the sky. You can absolutely take them out from the sky. What is the time? 17.48. So we got a couple of... A couple of minutes before the sun goes down. It's about a second and a half per in-game minute. Uh, 54, 55, 56. Yep, so the sun goes down. I'll just get the lantern out. On a beautiful day. Yeah, weirdly it didn't rain. Interesting. Three minutes past six, lantern will come on. That's how you know it's three minutes past. And then we'll, we'll go and we'll save and we'll sleep. And then we'll jump on the raft and go home. So we save. And then we sleep. 
and it is a beautiful morning, yes, as the sun comes up on the... Wait, we watched the sun go down over there. Eh, that's about right, yeah. I mean, you'd expect it to be directly behind, but technically it doesn't need to be. Depending on what time of year it is and the Earth's tilt, although we are barely much on the equator here. Because the sun sets at 6 and it goes down very, very quickly. Mm, I don't know. I think north may still be off in the game as well. So what we'll do is we'll drop this down. We will whack it with an axe. Bok. We'll drink the coconutty milk. Mmm, like a bounty bar. Or if you're American, a mounds bar. I learned these things. You tell me and I learn. So we will open them up and we will eat the delicious... Mmm, delicious coconut with a chocolate outer. Mmm, it's probably supermarket chocolate, probably not that good. Ooh, supermarket chocolate. Yeah, the sort of chocolate that you get in a um, in chocolate coin. Now, we have a bit of a problem here. We need to get back before any change in weather. So we'll jump on. Oh, we actually managed to jump on. Excellent. If a storm rolls in, no shark is going to spawn. So just uh, keep, <laughs> keep that up. Just keep that in your mind. Uh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about rain or sandstorms. I think sandstorms are okay for sharks, but certainly if it's a big storm with thunder and lightning, sharks will not spawn. So we need to keep an ear out for the shark music. Uh, I'm not hearing anything. What usually happens is a deep water shark will spawn here-ish. Or not. But when we cross the border over into our own island, sometimes things follow us in. And we tried to do this with the gyrocopter. We tried to fly the gyrocopter out to see him back again, and nothing happened. So the hit rate with the gyrocopter is a little low. What I'm going to do is turn her now, give her all the left rudder. Mm hmm. I'm going to try and aim for the harbour. It's a kind of a, a hard one to do because the steering on this is so bad. So bad. I believe there's also a steering issue with consoles and the sizes of the rafts, but who knows. So we're coming into our island. Uh, everything's loading in. Where is... Alright, where's the harbour entrance? It's there. So I just need to not hit the outer pier. And then really just slam her in the shallow area. Okay, cool. Uh, that red container actually helps a lot. Ooh. Sploosh. Yeah, we got her in. Almost perfectly. Just up on the sand a little bit. But yeah, the red container with the with the green. That really did help line us, uh, line us up. Okay. Because I could see that. And I was just like, oh, I'm aiming for that. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay, let's go and see if anything followed us in. I'm not entirely sure it did. I didn't hear any shark music on the way out. Mmm. What have we got? I don't need... Oh, I don't need the lantern. So we can get rid of the lantern. Check the food and water situation. It is not too good. What is the time of year? It's now 14th of March. We should probably put some... I tell you what we should probably do. is Put some fibrous leaves in the... Uh, in the water stills. Alright. Because, yeah, usually things like this will follow us in. Uh, whoa, jeez. I wasn't expecting you to be in the background. That's not what I was expecting. You were the... Oh, God, alright. Come on. Are we doing this? Man versus crab. And plant. Man versus crab and plant. Are you... One of us is going to have a hard time. Ow! Ow! Ow, my legs! Ooh, ow! Jeez, he's going for my pins, my getaway sticks. We're, no, we're never going to be a ballerina at this rate. Um, okay, cool. So, a few fibrous leaves. But wait, how do we check for sharks? Well, here's the problem. Certain sharks... What are you doing here? Certain sharks won't make any noises. So they 240 days survived. Yeah, that sh that showed in mm, on the loading screen. I do not like that noise. 
Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hmm. Why didn't? Why has nothing been following us in recently? I think the second journey we've taken out to sea and nothing follows us back. I know how to check because we have a specialized piece of equipment. Let's grab you and you. These small ones will regrow. And with a few things to do. Uh, uh, momentum. No. Momentum is not our friend. Did we close these? I don't remember closing them. Well, maybe we did. So we can come out here and just see if anything's swimming around beneath us. We'll hear it bubbling away. The two sharks that won't make any noise at all are the whale shark, which is friendly, and the great white, which is absolutely not friendly. I'm wondering if we just take the gyrocopter out for a quick spin, if something will follow us back. The music stopped. We're not far out enough to see to... Um, to get a deep water shark spawning just by being out here. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I do like that though. That is good. All right. I will. I'll, I'll whip up the gyrocopter and see what happens. That did not work. Uh, 100% fuel. What do you got? 100% fuel. How many we've got? 10. Okay. Cool. Let's go and put some of these leaves in the stills. So we do actually generate water during the day. Otherwise, we might have a problem. I mean, we we do have uh, four. Uh, four jugs with five servings in. So if we do get desperate, we can go for that. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I haven't... I mean, why have these got fuel in them? It hasn't rained. Uh, what water even. Weird. I don't know. There are some bugs. There are a lot more bugs on the console version than there are on the PC version. It has to be said. And sometimes weird things happen. Oh yeah, this container. This is the one where all of our material is stored. And the last panel is left open deliberately just to get some... You know, just so you can still see the vista, the view, the wonderful world around us. Because if you live on an island like this, you gotta be able to see what's going on. Right, juice. You have now have juice. I'm going to put you there and you there. That didn't work so well, but anyway. Gyrocopter! Gyrocopter! Can we... Do you think we fly through there? I don't think we can. I think that's way too narrow. Uh... Oh, nope, nope. It's getting stuck on the blades. Alright. No, we can't fly through there. Hmm... Probably need a little bit more height. Okay, cool. Excellent. Oh, we probably haven't flown this way since since building the since building the summer house. Ah. Yeah. Well that's the summer house, and you can see that it's completely um, asymmetric. But that's fine, because it had to be built around a tree that we could not remove. I I really like it though. I like the design. And it's three floors high. Which is something that you don't really get from uh, a certain side of it. The... Haha. Uh, yep. The pier. I do like that as well. It looks... Uh, yeah, I do like skeletonizing that bit. I think that was a good choice. I think it was a good... It's a compromise between keeping that apron and just having it looking a bit too much. Yeah. Okay, so what we will do is, I think, let's go as far as we can so to unload the island. The gyrocopter is an interesting vehicle. It sucked when we, we refueled it, and it is sucking down juice like nobody's business. So what we need to do is leave as far as we can so that we'll get like um, everything to deload or unload from our island, which means going out over deep water. There we go, a little, little, little jerky jerks. And I don't know if we actually need a deep water shark to spawn, so. Ooh, the sea's looking very dark though. 
We do know we can put the wheels in the water. In fact, we can go up to our butts. Yeah, so we're far enough away from our island. The trees are now billboarded, which means they're all two-dimensional sprites as much as you can. Have a two-dimensional sprite. I'm going to come out quite far. I'm not getting a deep water shark spawn. And I'm not getting whales or anything. I don't see any whales around. Which is concerning. Because the music is still going. Does the music stop? Oh, uh, well, that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why. That's got to be rain, right? Look up, down. Yeah, it's raining. It's a storm. That's why nothing's spawning. And this is going to be... Oh my god, everything's loading back in as we get close to the island. So yeah, it's going to be lightning because we're getting the white caps on the seas. That's that's kind of what the game won't tell you. Oh, I wonder what happens if we go to the island during a storm. Uh, let's land. I say what we don't need to do. We don't. We could just land on the beach. Let's land on the beach. It'll be fine. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. So if we dismount from the gyrocopter. Perfect landing. Nobody nobody needs to say otherwise. Yeah, sharks do not spawn. Sharks do not spawn uh, during the storm. So if they happen to be here, you'll see them swim out to sea, to deeper water, because they're told, go deep. Run silent, run deep. We did not close those doors, did we? I think when we leave the island, the doors reset. They reset to like a closed position. That would be an interesting one. Either that or I'm losing my freaking mind. Um, we do know that the pier can actually become completely swamped in in a storm. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's go up here. Yeah, both doors are closed. Interesting. It seems like it should be pretty safe. Like, in here should be pretty safe. Mm, I'm not... Oh, that's a big old wave. I'm not 100% on that. Let's turn you on. Hmm. So I think... Because they... What happens is... Oh, uh, there we go. Swamp it. Yeah, the end of the pier. I get absolutely destroyed. So I guess if you were on the end of the pier and a big wave came along, you would end up... I don't think you would go with the water. I think you would just kind of get lifted up, maybe? No, oh, I don't really want to test that. I don't want to test that as an option. Mm. Alright. Can we test it as an option? Turn that on. Can we turn this on? Yeah, we can. Oh, it's just brushing the underside. So uh, the tessellation, so the water tessellation. There are larger than normal waves and there are lower than normal waves. So some waves are super massive and some waves are not so big. So you get huge troughs and sometimes you get massive waves. Oh, there's fishes floating in the air. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's not going to affect us. I think it. I think the water would need to reach our butts in order to, uh, in order to lift us up or put us into the swimming mode. And it's not going to lift. Uh, it's not going to reach that high here. Nope. No, it's a big old swell. No, we could be waiting a while. Okay, fine. I think what we'll do is we'll probably just leave it there. Oh, oh let's. Go. I know what we can do. We can go up to the summer house. Hippity hoppity. Hippity hoppity. That's a water I do not want to be jumping into. Um, I'm just turning the torches on. I'm just holding E to activate them. Turn them on. Turn them on. They'll turn off at the end of the day anyway. Hippity hop. It is... It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, uh, wonderful. We have worked on the pier. We've done some work on it. We've skeletonized part of it as part of like a design choice. We have gone to the starting island. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get a shark to, to follow us in. We may need to go and um, investigate grabbing more materials and maybe actually building a lighthouse on another island or some sort of sign on another island. 
Oh, I need to swamp the end of the pier again. Um, just so we can get like a navigation aid, maybe. But as you can see, during a storm, you can barely see the other islands anyway. So I don't know how good or bad that would be. But if you do like these videos, do leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, dingle the bingle. If you want notifications, don't dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications, and I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.